So in this video, this elder brother is giving his critique about a video that was made by Passport Bro Austin Holloman. Let's hear what he has to say. How long did it take you to realize that she was that type of woman? Now I'm sure that you, both of you went through the dating process. And if you didn't, that's your fault. And if you did, what questions were you asking? Why does she think that way? What kind of relationship does she have with a mother or a father? That is important. What type of women do she look up to? And the women that she look up to, what type of women are they? Most passport bros admittingly don't want to actually take the time to vet a woman. They don't want to do any form of due diligence, which would then determine if that particular woman is a good fit for you. Because like I've said in previous videos, these passport bros are so fixated on sex that they're not willing to do any form of due diligence and they're not willing to actually vet a woman. Sometimes you can ask a question indirectly and get the answers that you're looking for, if you're paying attention. Were you so fixated on her beauty and you neglected to watch her character? When you're dating someone, everyone gives clues as to what type of person they are. You just have to be paying attention. You said sweeping the floor seems like slavery to her. Guys, do not marry a woman from the United States. Y'all can live in the same house and she thinks sweeping her own floor is a slave duty just because she doesn't want to be a wife to you. So how does she keep her home? Don't ever consider getting in a relationship with anyone until you see how they actually live. That is very wise advice that many passport bros fail to take heed of. And we see that being proven on a constant basis with all of these stories coming out of passport bros getting drugged overseas, getting robbed, getting set up, etc. by women who they don't even know. Like I said, they're so fixated on sex that they're not willing to vet a woman and actually see how her character is. Yes, I understand that many people worldwide, both male and female, are good at masquerading their true intentions. But at the same time, if you're intending on getting in a relationship with somebody, then if you properly vet them, then red flags will pop up if that person has them. And you and several other brothers talk about being in a relationship with women of other countries. What do you expect to get from them? You do know women of other countries actually see your videos. Now, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but there's not a woman who can't be reached. Don't allow your judgment of marriage to be defined by a couple of people you run into. There's over 170 million women in the United States. To make the claim that all or even most of that 170 million have nothing but negative qualities is just an ignorant statement to make. When you study a person's habits, you'll learn their ways. Now, based on your content, you're a very smart man. Don't allow one person to cloud your judgment. And always remember this, just because someone is good to date, that doesn't mean that they're good to marry. Now that goes for men and women. Now don't take this as criticism, my dear brother. I totally understand what you're saying. But sometimes you gotta back up and look at what did you miss? Always make sure you understand a person's background, their interests, their mentality, before you decide to get in a relationship with them, especially if you're deciding to marry them. Because one thing I've learned, whatever you neglect, you will regret. There's nothing wrong with American women because they can say the same thing about us. What's quite hypocritical is the fact that these passport bros love to demonize American women, specifically black women, for a particular negative quality but they'll never take a step back and critique themselves. They're always pointing fingers and blaming women for all of their problems like a child would do. These particular men have a very big fear of self-accountability because if they didn't, then they wouldn't be blaming women for all their problems. And lastly, trial and error. Do you understand that? So wise up, my dear brother. And make sure you're clear about what you're getting yourself into before you jump. I love you. Believe that. So that's the end of the video. 
This brother definitely shared a lot of knowledge in this video about vetting, about due diligence, etc. Because that's exactly what men need to do. If you have a problem with the type of women that you attract or even the type of women that you choose to mess with, then the problem lies within you. Blaming women for all your problems accomplishes nothing. These men need to grow up and stop blaming women for all their problems because that's nothing but an incel tactic. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and stay tuned to the channel.